to the shop. K7. I'm going to finish pressing in the bottom bracket today. K5 and 6 were pretty much eaten up pondering how to do DI2 wiring, various configurations. I got that done yesterday. Seems to be working fine. However, I was a little bit disappointed for one thing. This is a rim brake frame. And the idea was I wanted to get this DI2 wire to disappear. There's no way to do it in here. It's not the right configuration for the frame tube and the spacers. But there's still plenty of room in the head tube. And I wanted to run this in tandem the way Shane Miller did, GP Lama, on his post about rewiring his giant TCR. And just by running it in tandem, it kind of disappears. I maybe put some shrink wrap or something on there, but you can see what I mean. And the idea was it's going to enter the top tube here. I, he has a down tube port, which is perfect because it has got a disc brake rig. And I don't know what kind of grommet he has, but apparently he was able to get both pieces in there. So essentially he made that disappear that way. Well, I don't have a down tube port, but I gotta get this to the down tube. And I've got a connection coming up from the junction B. I had it flopped out this frame tube port for the DI2 alternate location. And the idea was I'm going to take this, stick it in this port, do a U-turn, drop it down, and then down there. It would have worked perfectly, except this grommet that Yolio has is dedicated only for a brake cable stop, and it's a stop. So I couldn't get it in there. Now I'm looking around for a different grommet that might have another port on it. I've seen those, but I don't have one. If I find it, I'll rewire it. But what I'm kind of forced to do, the only option that Yolio provides is to run this wire into this port. Now, if you put the DI2 junction A here, you still have to figure out how to get a wire from the back of that to the front of the frame. There's no way to do that unless you brought it up here and out here, and then you got the same problem. So that was my dilemma, and I spent a lot of time scratching my head over that and when i bought all the di2 stuff from art at cyc here in rayon i bought a y splitter i've never done di2 and he said you need a y splitter so i got a y split cable but when i decided i'm going to put the d d fly unit in the handlebar i put it right here is where i put it I need a way to get power to it in the connection. I did that by running a dedicated line from the left shifter through the handlebars down into the D fly. And then the junction A went in there. And that's how I've got it rigged. But I wanted to get that D fly unit. Since I had a Y splitter, it's essentially got three connections and it's 1100 millimeters when you stretch it straight. So I'm gonna use the Y splitter to this shifter to interconnect the two shifters. And then somewhere here in the middle of the bar is gonna be that short piece with the third connection. And I could just plug the D fly into that. That would have worked beautifully, except these bars profile is kind of narrow. And 
try as I might, there was no way I could get both the uh, junction of those three leads on the Y split plus the D fly, which is not quite that fat, but too fat to go through the bar. So I was screwed on that count. So I just went and bought a 700 wired it put the deep fly there it works just fine no big deal but i wasn't able to use this y split cable the way i wanted to anyway uh that's not the y split the y split is actually being used to interconnect these i just had to tape off the third connection in there not use it so this is what connects the cockpit to junction B, comes out of my right shifter, and then out the same port under the handlebars as the rear brake cable. I haven't trimmed the cable, obviously. I'm gonna take a little bit more off of it. And that would have been really cool if I could have fit the connector in there but it won't unless I can figure a way to like modify this thing like I could take this connect I got a bunch of these connectors so I don't mind wasting one doing an experiment I could just cut a little of that plastic out see if I can get both wires in there and if I can that's what I'm going to do because it's just cleaner because this is what it's going to look like Otherwise, I'm going to have it coming down there with the brake cable, so it's going to be hidden until about right there. And then this wire has to drop down and go into a port here. And I have a, a plate with a, two ports in case you're rigging up mechanical derailers. That's what, where you would run the cable housings and the cables into there. And I can use that to run the wire through, but it's kind of not elegant it's not the ideal solution so i'm looking around to see what my options are of course i could take the solid plate cover they have a plate cover that just is a blank it blanks it all i could drill a single entry and run it through there but um, it's not much different anyway this is the connection from the cockpit to junction b I'm also having to find a replacement grommet for this because it wasn't in the pack of frame parts that Yolio sent me. I, I may have lost it in my shaky hands when I opened the pack. There's a nice little port there for the wire for the front derailleur. There's another port there. I just put a blank rubber grommet in there. It's okay. I'm liking it. Obviously, I got work to do. I'm just set this up so I could check the system. Got this kind of jury rigged here holding it. That clamp isn't really clamping it. and This just kind of holds the rear end stable and that holds the front end stable. It's goofy little setup but it's just me anyway by like yesterday evening I had it working I had to charge up the battery come back and check it out it's always gratifying feeling when things do work so that's where the project stands after day six 